pair of wins on the home floor for the Badgers as they jump back into Big Ten play. A Tuesday night performance against Iowa that was really impressive, especially in the second half. And on Saturday, they shoot 55% for the field en route to an 88-72 win against Nebraska. We'll check out some of the highlights. We'll sit down with Badgers sophomore A.J. Storr. He's pretty good, if you haven't noticed. And we'll have our weekly chat with head coach Greg Gard. All coming up on this week's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. With the ball is Hepburn, outside right. Chucky goes into Crowell against Alec, right of the lane. Shot clock at 10, inside Pete Wall, low on the right. Two ball for Tyler Wall. He has six points early on. Steven Crowell out front, a hand off to Hepburn. Chucky bobs off the Crowell screen. Steps back, open for three, takes the three, makes the three. First points for Chucky, and it's 12-7 Wisconsin. Store left of the circle, goes to Winter, feeds a CG. Deep three, right side, got it. That gets the crowd going. They love them some Connor Asijan. 10 8 left in the half. Wall throwing to Asijan. Another three. Right side. Money. Uh-oh. Crowd brings it up top. Gives it to Hepburn. Chucky splits two defenders in the lane. Pass makes swoops to the rim. Layup is good. Hit him oh. with it. <laughs> Hit him with it, Chucky. Bounce pass to Winter. Open for three. And it hits the back of the rim. No good. Rebound. Tyler Wall got the long board. Ball throwing to McGee. He'll take the three left side. Yes, sir. In store throwing to Klesman. Turns to Hepburn on the right side. Chucky off the wing. Darts it inside. Wall catches. Reverse layup is good. As the Badgers with 51 here in the first half. Throwing to Wall, top of the circle. Turns it right corner. Blackwell for three. Book it. John Blackwell with eight. 61 45 Wisconsin. For McGee, inbounds pass to Crow. Feeds Connor. Open for three. Right of the circle. Book it. Fourth three of the game for Connor Asijan. Chucky at the top against Bryce Williams. Hepburn bobs off the crowd screen. Fades off to his left. Beats Crow for three. Up top. Got it. Steven Crow is 12 for 17 this year from long range. Shot clock at seven. Hepburn against Lawrence. Chucky on the shakes. Puts two defenders down the lane to the rim. Layup is good. Woo that was pretty. Chucky Hepburn, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tyler Wall out between the circles. Wall hands off to Chucky. Hepburn, this is the wall. He'll try a three right side. Got it! First made three of the year for Wall on just his fifth attempt. When Connor comes off the bench and gives an extra spot like that, we all get excited. We all uh, want to want to see him. Uh, um, succeed. So when we, when we when he's hitting shots like that, you know, it gives us momentum, gives the crowd momentum, because you know the, the crowd loves it when he when he gets into it. So um, you know, we just always look for Connor when he's in the game, and we know he's going to knock it down. We believe in him. You know, for Connor, it's a matter of just continue to get better, and when your opportunities come, um, obviously everybody loves the ball going in. But I told him yesterday, I don't care about that. I, I want you to compete. I want you to defend, scrap. You know, get a little scratched up and dusty a little bit, dirty, and, and shots will go in. And, um, you know, like I said, he's he knows he can help this team, and but he also knows that, you know, it's more than just shooting. Just kind of making the, the most, you know, while I'm in there. Um, you never know, you know, when your, your last game, your last minute will be. Um, and to be able to go out there and just kind of play hard, you know, make, you know, winning plays on both ends of the floor, you know, that's something I've been working on a lot recently. Uh, and it kind of translates from practice, too, so to, to have it going on both ends is great. We got a lot of guys um, that can put the ball in the hoop, and I feel like a lot of guys are oozing in confidence where maybe last year it wasn't as wasn't as high as this. Um, so we're going to look to keep it going. Um, and, yeah, we just keep keep scoring. This league is, um, you know, it's going to continue to move forward. We got a, a big one, as they all are, um, Wednesday night in Columbus. This is Wisconsin basketball. And Wall with a steal. Tyler with the pimp. Down the lane, slam dunk. Three on one, flips the store down the lane, and he hammers it with the right hand. With two, Hepper good! Off the glass, off the glass! He slips it in the crowd, low on the left, slam dunk. Another three-point hit for Connor is Sejan. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, 
Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus. Designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. These are operating engineers. They operate top of the line, innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. 1240 left of the first half. Hepper to the free throw line. He'll throw it to Blackwell. Try to bounce it inside. A winter lost his balance and tapped it ahead and turned the turnover to Sanford, who threw it away to McGee. Finds Winter wide open, low on the left. Thank you very much, says Nolan Winter. Wide of the circle, inside feed. Caught by Wall, right block, finds Crowd. Down the lane, hammers it down with the right hand. Steven Crowd ties the game at 16. McCaffrey with the ball right now between the arcs. A throw to Sanford, knocked away by Klesman. Max gets the steal. Got Snore out in front. The lob, the dunk. Klesman to AJ Snore. Ice cream from Crowd. Throws the wall. Turns to Snore left side. Into Crowd. Balls a double left block. Feeds McGee. Tap pass Klesman. Three shot right corner. Good. There you go. Max Klesman for three. 32 29 Iowa. Back to McGee. Outside right. Drives baseline. Runs it to. A.J. Store left corner, will push off, got away with it, goes to the rim, slam dunk, A.J. Store. Here's Chucky Hepburn at the top, throwing to Crow, left side, he'll take the three, book it. Steven Crow, big fella, with another long ball, and it's a five-point lead for Wisconsin. Gliding offensive end, leaves it for Perkins, top of the circle, around the Freeman Street, poking away, Hepburn, now Klesman has it, lead beat Chucky to the rim, and tries to lob it off the glass, Store catches and sends it down hard. Oh, yes, sir. Chucky to AJ. Eight point lead, Wisconsin. Plays with a steal. Ahead it goes to Hepburn. Chucky again up. Got it. Count it. And one. The joint is jumping. The lead is 10 for the whole team. Uh, yeah, it was it was special. Uh, obviously playing with an unselfish guard and Chucky, so just running the floor. He gonna throw it off the board if it's available. Their ability to run the floor, him and Chucky and Klez, just the way they get down the floor is something we didn't really have last year in transition. Um, and like I said earlier, it wasn't only AJ Duncan. It was Carter came in, did a couple hustle plays for us, and Tyler had a couple dunks. So I think it was a great team effort. And um, no, like you said, AJ does a great job of giving us that energy with those dunks. With him, you you can you see all the ability. I mean, it oozes with his what his ability and his potential is. And I think the scary thing is he doesn't understand how good he can be yet. I mean, he's still learning a lot. Um, and uh, he, he's, been, he's been awesome to coach. 
We believe in education. We believe in public schools. We believe in financial security for Wisconsin public school employees and their families. WEA Member Benefits, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked Mommy where it comes from, and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and, most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. I had big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health. Remarkable. Well, a couple weeks ago we were talking about the annual challenge for student athletes, and that's obviously navigating through the end of a semester, taking final exams, and oh, by the way, practicing and playing games. Well, now with the finals behind them, a lot of guys tell you this is a great time of year. You don't have the academic pressure here for the next few weeks. You play basketball, you get to practice, travel, go on the road, spend time together. And with that, we bring in head coach Greg Gard. There was a time, coach, where I thought this was a real challenging time because campus is quiet. What are you going to do? But you know, the more I'm around this, the more I think players, this is a great time of year, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Just because of, you know, we come back from the holidays, you jump back into league play and as you mentioned, there's not the the schedule isn't as full, and I think that's what makes it you know refreshing for them. They can really focus on basketball. We haven't gone back to the two a days like used to happen years and years and years ago during this time, but it also gives us a chance to do more team activities because we don't have such a regimented uh, set schedule, so we're able to get them away a little bit and take them different places, and you know just continue to to help this group bond and that's the fun part of this because as competitive as practices get and they always have been around right. here these guys are, it's great to be repetitive on this topic here they get along these right. guys like being around each other it's a, the team activities it's good yeah. it, it, you know it's not like it's two or three guys here two or three guys here these guys do a lot as a they do group. they do do a lot and and you know that a lot of that's some of that's intentional but I, when I see them out and about you see one you see them they travel in packs which is good. So, um, no, it's a really good group that, that enjoys each other, and they understand how important that is. And we've talked about that endlessly, that regardless of what your role is, 1 through 18, you have a very important role. And continue to contribute to that, give yourself to the team. And when you have unselfish teams uh, and players like we do, then you have a chance to be a really good team. That's one of those things that is you can never talk too much about the importance of it because you know, everybody wants to play – 30 plus minutes and score 15 to 20 a game. That's just not how it works. But one of the hallmarks I've noticed around here through the years, if it's if your primary role is on the scout team, those guys they jump on it. They want to they want to know. Okay, what do we need to do today? That's not the maybe the easiest thing for some to grasp. But these guys have been really good. Yeah, at that. and you I think you you're cognizant of that now more than ever with the transfer portal, with NIL, with everything. You still have to really put your efforts towards being the best team you can be and, and you have to sacrifice you have to give up maybe some individual things to for the betterment of the team and and everybody like I said has a role and those roles evolve and change they've changed through this year they'll continue to evolve as we go forward and those guys that are on the scout team have done an awesome job of not only using it to help prepare the guys that are getting the major minutes but it's a developmental step in terms of you know we've had countless guys over the years that have paid their dues on the scout team and then in, in due time have worked their way into that rotation. It's a fascinating f place for us even as broadcasters to watch from an arm's length your teams. You made a, a point a few years ago there was a player who was scuffling a little bit and outside looking in going man I don't know if this guy's going to see the floor much and then all of a sudden he did contributed and you said you never ever give up on right. a player and that's never Oh yeah I mean it's in, in again you go back to the world we face today where everything's about me 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 to have an unselfish group like we have that you know we're we all are going to go through ups and downs and and when you go through a down you get teammates that can rally around you a coaching staff that'll rally around you hold you accountable but at the same time help you get better and fight through any adversity you have because we're all going to face it nobody's going to have a perfect 
um, silky smooth season. There's going to be mm -hmm. bumps in the road and, and how you usually you're better at, as you get older at handling those and you have less the bump isn't as as rough mm -hmm. as what a bump was as a freshman or sophomore. But, um, you know, having good teammates around you really helps. We, we had we talked about kind of the unusual schedule this year in that there was a game on the 22nd and then not again until the second. There were there were four days off for the guys. Uh, walk us through the ramp back up, getting these guys up and running now as the games start to come at yeah. you again. Yeah, we came back on the 27th, uh, the afternoon, late afternoon of that day. And that day I made all no contact, knowing they were off for four days. We have in the 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th off, which was – you know, a godsend really to give them that much time, which it was going to be three days anyway. We were able to tack another day onto it. Um, but no contact that day, some shooting, just getting back acclimated, not really trying to crush them physically because of we wanted to ease them back into it and then ramped it up a little bit more on the 28th and a little bit more on the 29th. Um, started Iowa prep on the 29th, took the uh, the 30th off, and then went back and went 31st and 1st, you know, and, and really 29th. 30th really and even 31st did some game simulation because I knew or 30 actually 31st and first did some game simulation because of 12 days of not playing as much as we try to do it in practice it's mm -hmm. not the same I think it showed for the first few minutes mm -hmm. uh, first really 25 30 minutes of the Iowa game that we hadn't played in a in and didn't have a rhythm but we were able to find that and uh you know, you're trying to find that balance when you have those longer breaks. All right. No, no such breaks are forthcoming. The Badgers will be in Columbus taking on Ohio State on Wednesday night and then a Saturday 11 a.m. tip back here at the Kohl Center as Wisconsin will host the Northwestern Wildcats. We'll take a break. More to come as we continue with the Badgers Sports Report. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. WEA member benefits dedicated to helping Wisconsin public school employees become financially secure with programs designed for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. Well, assistant to the head coach, Kirk Penny, described our next guest as having some athleticism that you don't see around these parts very much. And we're referring, of course, to A.J. Store, sophomore out of Rockford, Illinois, transferring in from the St. John's program. The most basic of questions here, A.J., give us a sense of, of your comfort level of everything that's expected both ends of the floor right now as we speak compared to when you first step foot on the campus and, and started to get acclimated to to the Wisconsin way uh, it's been pretty easy I've been pretty comfortable out here got a lot of veterans on the team uh, Tyler Watt, Chucky Steve you know a lot of vets on the team so they got me pretty they got me uh, through pretty well when I first got here you know just over the summer learning all the concepts and stuff so I've been doing it for months now so it's it's kind of like repetition now I'm getting used to what's the time What's the best? Sorry to interrupt. What, what's the best advice any of these older guys have given you just about being a Badger? Uh, just always play patient. Don't rush anything. Play patient. Look at all your options on the floor, uh, and just uh, play hard. That's what Badgers are known for. Just playing hard, out toughing everybody, and uh, just being a dog, really. You grew. I mean, obviously being from Rockford, but but going to St. John's. What did you know about the Wisconsin program before? before you made the decision to, to leave St. John's and come over here? Uh, Wisconsin was probably one of the first college teams I watched as a kid. I had a shirt. My sister used to come to the camps in middle school. So uh, I knew Wisconsin was a great program. You know, they got a winning tradition. Uh, probably Frank Kaminsky and stuff. Uh, see the banners up there. That's <laughs> that's what I knew about in the final four appearances and stuff. I was just going to ask you, that's the yeah. guy that kind of got you, yeah, got you yeah, excited. Yeah. Uh, did your confidence? I mean, it was a, obviously a, clearly a, it was a tough year for for St. John's last year in terms of the record. Yeah. 
but your production really increased as the season went along. Was, give us an idea of your level of confidence, just knowing that you could not just play on a team, but play at a really high level at the college level. Oh uh, yeah, last year was uh, didn't start off how, the way I wanted it to, but you know I just stayed in the gym, stayed believing in myself, and uh, eventually things were played out well, and I just was ready when my number was called. Um, from being consistently in the gym, so that's where it comes from. You turned a lot of heads here, and you excite fans with the dunks. If it's the Marquette game or any number of games, do you remember the first time you dunked in a basketball game? Take us through that. Uh, eighth grade year. Eighth, eighth grade, grade, huh? Eighth grade. Uh, I think I got a steal. Yeah, I got a played the passing lanes, got a steal. Was by myself on a break, threw it down. So not even a lob dunk. It was yeah, yourself just elevating. I <laughs> practiced it a lot, though. That's good. So you gave it a, on a scale of 1 to 10. You would have given yourself a 10 on that first one, even as an eighth grader? Yeah, 10 because it's eighth grade, and it was my first dunk, yeah. What's your favorite dunk here so far? By the time this airs, you probably have a few more, but yeah. do you have one that stands out as yeah. a Badger? Yeah. Uh, probably against Marquette, the lob from Chucky. Probably my favorite. <laughs> yeah. you, you probably have a sense as much as you lock in to, to things on the floor that the energy that something like that brings, yeah. if it's the Marquette game or other games, you, you feel that and you get the sense that you, your teammates really feed off of that? Yeah, yeah, definitely the crowd, you know, all the energy, the momentum, it brings momentum, uh, basically hypes everybody up and that leads to momentum really. Everybody playing at a higher pace and stuff like that. Imagine with the you, people talk about the depth of this team, there being more of it. I know you weren't here last year, but with you in the starting lineup, John Blackwell off the bench, you guys get a sense, I've talked to some of your teammates about it, with the schedule that you've played, when you're playing well, you feel like you can play with just about anybody. You've, yeah. you've kind of learned that about yourself yeah. as a team, haven't you? Yeah, I feel like when we're all connected, all locked in, like you said, when we're all playing at our best, high level, we can play with anybody. You just got to keep it. It's just about stringing two halves together, playing well in the first half and coming out and finishing strong in the second half. Major, playing in the Big East, you're in you know, big arenas, packed arenas. It's obviously a great league. What do you look forward to most? You've had, as we speak, the one Big Ten game. Obviously, a lot more road trips coming up. What do you most look forward to about Big Ten basketball? Uh, my teammates are telling me about it. Uh, the crowds on the road, uh, Indiana, they told me about Purdue. So. Just going in there playing against high-level teams and just showcasing my talent. Well, it was a pretty good atmosphere at the Breslin Center until you quieted them down. Uh, we, t you know, talk about the dunks, but you're a lot more than that. Um, the three-point shot last year, what 40% at St. John's. Um, walk us through just the evolution of your game, particularly on the offensive end. Your ability, it seems like, to score at all levels. Yeah. Um, more last year at St. John's, I was probably more of a catch-and-shoot guy. Uh, running the break hard and just getting out of transition. Now I'm probably coming off uh, a lot more ball screens and stuff. So uh, I'm getting to showcase a little bit more of my game, um, coming off ball screens, getting down here a lot of ball screens. So yeah, that's pretty much my game right there. F final thought is, is your career here is still fairly young, but is it what you thought it would be so far, the total package here of being a, a student athlete at Wisconsin? It's actually better, to be honest, uh, the Big Ten great you know conference um school a lot of great people here so they've been walking me every step of the way since i got here so it's been good good to hear fun to watch aj store one of the badger newcomers making a very favorable early impression to say the least we'll take a break more to come as we continue with the badger sports report i had big dreams then i got sick uw health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney now my dreams are infinite. UW Health, remarkable. These are operating engineers. They operate top of the line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. 
The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. The Badgers hit the road for a Wednesday night matchup against Ohio State. Tip time 7.30 Central from Columbus and then back on the home floor next Saturday as Wisconsin will host Northwestern. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation from Learfield. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.